obnoxiously overdone YouTuber catchphrase where I asked my audience what events have transpired recently spoken in African-American vernacular English while I referred to myself as your boy before revealing my screen name on the video sharing platform. All the while, flashing gangsta, and finally, topping it off with an obnoxious catchphrase spoken like this. And that's fitting because today we're talking about Vidco- No, that ain't it. Vidco- No, that ain't it either. Vidco- How did this get on here? Ah. VidCon. And yeah, I know, I'm not shaved, my hair is kind of a mess. Don't worry, I'll be nice and cleaned up for VidCon. Speaking of which, for the first time in four fucking years, I'm heading to VidCon. I couldn't go to I couldn't go in 2019 because that was the day of my brother's wedding, and I couldn't go for two last years because of COVID. But finally, I can go to VidCon and promote my channel. Which is great because I took time off and YouTube punished me for it severely. That also explains why you're seeing a video on Monday instead of the usual Thursday. So am I a future creator? No. Will I have my own booth? No. No, but I have the next best thing. Posters. Oh, oh crap, it's blending in with the green screen behind me. Um, here's a better picture of it. I'll be attending VidCon Wednesday through Saturday. And if I meet a fellow fan, I'll give you an autographed copy of a poster. Of course, if you want one, pull out your phone and show me proof that you're subscribed to my channel. And if you're not, what are you waiting for? Hit subscribe right now. Of course, if you want one of these and you're not gonna be able to make it to VidCon, don't worry, just sign up at the $8 level at my Patreon and you'll receive one in the mail. Trust me when I say, supplies are limited. Uh, thankfully, there's a CVS photo within walking distance of the convention center. I can always print more there. First things are my restaurant recommendations for when you're at VidCon. Now, I already covered four restaurants in my 2018 vlog. They're still around. Click on this video to learn about them and skip to this time code to see what they are. But in addition to that, I have two more recommendations for you you should try. Number one is the name of a Korean hot dog place, which I can't pronounce, but definitely check it out. It's on the corner of Magnolia and Garden Grove Boulevard in the shopping center next to the H Mart. Next is Pickle Bon Mi Company, which is near the corner of Brookhurst and Lampson. While well, I'm on the topic of VidCon, there's two YouTuber sightings I came across. And listen, I have no video or photos to back this up, but hand on heart, I did meet them. The first one was Aaron from the Game Grumps. I actually saw him at VidCon in 2018. I would have posted it in my VidCon video, but I somehow lost the footage. But hand on heart, I did meet Aaron. I didn't talk to him or anything, but I could tell it was him because he was followed by an entourage of people. And the second one was Casey Neistat. So I was dropping off my mom and my aunt at John Wayne Airport. I see in the corner of my eye, the Casey Neistat. In fact, I was there on the same day he filmed the I Miss Being a YouTuber video. Also, John Wayne Airport to South Africa? You had to switch planes a gajillion times, bro. Eh, it doesn't matter. He can afford to fly first class. And the final thing I want to touch up upon is my New York vlog. I'm almost done color grading it. All I need to do is do voiceover, film the in the room segments, and other weird little edit quirky tricks. And that concludes today's vlog. See you at VidCon.